Hello everybody, welcome back to Godzilla Mode and today I have another great video for you guys, alright? Now before we get into it, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and comment down below if you guys are really excited about Madden 23 and which you are the most excited about, alright? About Madden 23 and really my personal, what I'm really like excited about, I wanted to see what CFM, you know, franchise and I just want to see how my Browns look in Madden 23, but uh, one thing I really, really hope they do fix is zones. And this, when in this video, I will be showing you guys what's it, what is the best offense to use in Madden 23. Now, in my opinion, I feel like this is going to be the best offense, and this is going to be the trend for Madden 23 because since they, they said they fixed the zones, the gameplays that they fixed the zones, and defense will be a thousand percent better unless you are a really, really, really elite passer. So if you're not like a, a elite passer using that that one, I forgot what it's called. They just added added to the game. Uh, Madden 23 that's going to be, you know going to be in there. If you haven't uh, you know really really fixed that, this right here, this offense I'm going to show you guys is a single back deuce close. This will be the best offense to use in Madden 23. All right. Now um, the reason why I f I'm telling you guys why this will be the best offense to use is the simple fact because right here you have the run is going to be the most the best thing to do in match 23 running is going to be the best thing because they fix the hard cuts they fix where you can finally move with your players and change the direction you don't have to even at 60 you're going to be able to move with your halfback um stretch like the run is going to be basically unstoppable unless you have inside stuff or no outsiders and then the best thing with this is even if you know when your opponent he tried to change the run these these throw plays right here like bench right here PAX post cross like Madden 23 I have a, a good feeling it's going to be like Madden 20 except with zone drops that's pretty much what I got a feeling it's going to be like um, I believe Ryan Beck is going to react a thousand percent better than they do this year and it's just going to be just like Madden 20 except like I said with zone drops so right here like I said right here the, 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 um, the best thing that you I mean the best auto you guys want to put is take this out and you want to put PAX post cross and you want to take out zone split you want to put stretch not stretch but uh halfback zone weak take out stick you want to add either either you are going to add PA boost slide or flood I'm going to add flood and then what you guys want to do is you want to add your route tech receiver or your best receiver right here and your second best right there I'm going to go ahead and put that OBJ and I always have your best you know tight ends in the game your best tight end to your fastest tight end all right so um the player right here that's they got this play right here so they go back to cross. they got the pa x post cross right and so they got this play and that's uh come out in a simple let's come out in four four right say your opponent's trying to stop the run because oh shoot i clicked the wrong thing hold on guys so yeah like i said in Matt 23 the run is going to be basically unstoppable especially with the hard cuts it's going to be somewhat similar to stopping to stop and go but it's just going to be a little bit different because you're not going to be, you know, fixing the stage. It's just going to be like, it's going, to, it's going to tell you hard cut, all right? So, uh, like I said, this right here, this is going to be the best offense. So, say your opponent, he comes out in this stack linebackers in the middle, and he's just trying to stop the run. Right here, which, you, like I said, this play right here, you can, you can run a default like this. I watch X, watch X, and you got B right there. He's wide open. Okay. With Slinger, that's a better throw. But right there, look, that's wide open. Another thing that you guys can do with this play is you can either put A on like a streak or put A on a curl so you can have like that backup option if nothing is open like this. And you also have great blocking. Like look at that. You got X. Maybe you could throw the X. Yeah, look at that. Wide open. Remember, now like I said, I know they said zones was going to be uh, very, you know, going to be fixed in Madden 23. But like when your opponent is trying to stop the run, they're going to commit everything to the run. Like trust me, when when you're when a when a guy is getting ran on all game, he you know he just can't stop it. He's going to commit basically all his players to run it. So he's going to have two his safety's going to be in spies. He's going to be prison all linebackers. And you're going to have time because you have right there. You're blocking one, two, three, four, five. Plus your wide uh, tight end, which is so basically you're blocking six, and you have uh, four routes on the field. All right. So like I said, this is one of the going to be one of the best plays to use. And then this play right here, flood. Now I don't know, not 100% sure if you're going to be able to like get out the pocket and scramble like it is in this year. But I do have a strong feeling that the blocking is going to be a thousand percent better. Come like the better is uh, the better gameplay as I've seen it. It, the blocking is not fixed just yet because the tight ends do not have not reacted the way I seen it but I do strongly believe they're gonna fix it but right here right here this play right here now if you're gonna run this play right here I strongly advise it running with your best tight end but like right here, now you watch the wide receiver watch him boom right there he's wide open that load up is bad by Matthew Stafford but right there like I said 
um, this is going to be the best run balance offense. You know, like because the run, like I said, the run is going to be the best offense in Madden 23. I'm just telling you guys right now, it's going to be the best thing to do, unless you oh, that's what it's going. Unless you perfect the precision pass passing. If you don't perfect that, it's going to be basically a Madden 22. But the run is going to be a thousand percent better. So like all runners is going to be really, really hard to stop in Madden 23. All right. The next thing, the next thing that you guys can do if you want to just run this off this play right here, just put your RB on a route like that and then streak A like that. Now you have, watch this. You got RB, you got A, uh, maybe X. I don't know. I don't want to throw that. Maybe I can throw it. Can I throw it? Can I? Nah, I'm, I'm going to throw it anyways. I don't care. Oh, that's a pick. His load up is so slow. Matthew Stafford's. But let me go ahead and go to replay so I can show you guys right quick right here now as i snap the ball now watch this watch him watch it i see odell he's wide open you got this guy wide open so this, you got two underneath runs wide open and then if he's running cover three now i don't know i have a strong like i have a strong feeling that from what i've seen so far in that gameplay of of, of me uh mad 23 beta that linebackers are going to react a thousand percent better so if they're like an elite like isaiah simpson is a elite linebacker he's going to be probably 92 90 speed and he's going to be like an 80 plus overall. He's going to be a great linebacker. So like this right here, a default match coverage, he's going to match onto this. And I think like with the 90 speed uh, linebacker with like Isaiah Simmons, he's going to be able to swat the ball and react a thousand percent better because he's basically like a strong safety. All right. And I feel like if they're like certain weight adjustments or like, did you know how Isaiah Simmons is like maybe? I don't know what his weight is, but he's not, you know, a heavy linebacker. He can move like a safety. I feel like he's going to be able to move like a safety, but like in a linebacker position instead of, you don't, have, you won't be able to put him in a box, like, you know, moving to, from, um, to put a strong safety in the box, but he's going to move like a, uh, like a safety, basically. And I feel like, but like linebackers like Bobby Wagner, he won't be able to do what Isaiah Simmons does. And that's what, I, what I've seen so far in a, in a beta gameplay. But yeah, this is wide open. If you do throw this, but, the, but Matthew Seth, a lot of time is, tr is trash. But right here, as you guys can see, Cup is wide open. And maybe you could throw this seam streak right here. Boom, that's open. And then you got the, like I said, the underneath routes. And then boom. And then last but not least play out of this formation um, that you guys can run. I'm just gonna talk about what well, I'm gonna talk about this one is the stake play. You could talk you could do the stake play, but that's just something if you're trying to get a first down. Let me just gonna show you guys. Only time you run like a curl play like this, um, I would always smart route um, both my curl plays. I mean curl and then just just you gotta throw as soon as they break, you wanna throw it. If it's open, if it's open, like if it's not open, don't throw. Like right there, linebackers in this game don't uh, react. But right there, right there, if as soon as he break right there, you gotta throw the ball. Otherwise, there your opponent is usually gonna react and it's not gonna be open. All right, let's go ahead and call time on. That was just a quick breakdown of a curve. Curve plays are not that um um hard to break down. Now this other play is a PA boost slide right here. And as you guys can see right here, I got Odell. I strongly survive, and the reason why this right here is one of the best plays out of this formation is because it looked like it, look, when I snapped the ball, it's gonna like I'm gonna be running stretch, and then Beckham should get wide up. So watch this right here, boom, watch him, and then Beckham right there. His load up is so horrible, Matthew Stafford. But as you guys can see right there, Beckham he got wide open. Now the reason why, now you can't flip it. Even if you do flip it, your opponent won't even know. So like I said right here, and then another thing, now watch this, watch why. Watch why, and then you got maybe uh, sometimes if they run his own drops, um, why will get open. Let me go ahead and show. Oh, Cooper Cup is tough, but let me go ahead and show you guys right quick um, a replay. Another reason why this play is so elite. Now you see how 86, he's like he's blocking, but since there's nobody that's actually rushing, he comes out boom right there. Now he's on the zig route, and that's that's very 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 like hard to find in plays with like a, a release to a zig route and Madden 22, or and in Madden 23. And they said they're going to be switching up a lot of the playbook, or well, not a lot, but they're going to be taking a lot of plays out of the game. But they don't know for sure if they're going to do it because a lot of people saying they don't want it to be you no know, breaking up like it is this year. But uh yeah. Another, uh, the best run out of this formation is easy. It's going to be halfback stretch. So like what, what, um, halfbacks like, um, what is it called? Christian McCaffrey. Once a very, very, very elusive halfbacks like Christian McCaffrey and uh, Alva Kamara, David Cook. Them, like them three halfbacks right there with jukebox and all that. It's going to be very, very hard to stop. All right, especially stretch plays. So. But like plays like halfback whim, you really want like, in halfback zone week, you want to run them with like a Nick Chubb or you can't still run it with Christian McCaffrey, but you want to run with it with somebody that has um, a really, really, really high break tackle and really, really high K 
carrying, all right? And then last but not least play is this bench play, because I don't want to make this video too long. But this play is pretty much self-explanatory. All you really want to do is up to the wide side of the field, which is the Cooper Cup. Just put a, a, a streak right there, and then put A right here. You want to put him on a uh, drag like that, and then you want to block your halfback, and then go ahead and snap it. I'm not going to throw it to anybody, but as you guys can see, X, I got B. I got a lot of things that's open. Let's go ahead and just throw it right quick. It's just, uh, I don't know. Just throw it to uh, B right there. His load up is so horrible. Odell? Ah, now nah, he ain't going to get it. But let me go ahead and show you guys the replay right quick before we end this video. Like I said, comment down below what you guys are um, very the most excited about in Match 23. Uh, right here, as you guys can see, I got the drag wide open right there, boom. And then you got Cooper Cup on the break right there, boom. And they also said the route running, and that, like I seen in the gameplay, route running will be a thousand percent better. Like I seen in the beta uh, gameplay, that boom right here, Cooper Cup. And then you got this uh, Odell, he's wide open now. If with well, Singer, this is wide open, but without Singer, do not throw this ball. But your main, what you're really looking for is this Cooper Cup right here, and he's wide open, all right. So yeah, let me know guys what you guys are the most excited about. Let me know what uh, offense that you guys think will be the best offense. This is in my opinion. I think it's going to be most likely like Madden 20. Well, like, no, it's going to be easy. Not easy, but it's going to be better to run. And like the defense will be, it's going to be a thousand percent better. And it will be a better, better game than Madden 22. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.